Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and go over all of the gear that I'm going to be bringing with me on my 2016 Pacific Crest Trail through hike attempt. Um, starting off, my base weight is going to fluctuate between 7.48 pounds up to 9.7 pounds depending on how many uh, water bottles I have and when I switch out for a bear canister and I will have an umbrella starting in the desert. Um, so starting off, I've got the Mountain Laurel Designs Profit backpack. It is 14.5 ounces just by itself. Uh, this is what it looks like. It fits me very well. I've got about 70 miles or so on it already and I really like how it fits, how it feels. Uh, it holds everything that I need. It's not very heavy, very minimalist, no frame. Uh, wonderful backpack, Mountain Laurel Designs. If you're looking for a good ultralight backpack, definitely check them out. Uh, I'm going to unpack this and have everything out on the table so you can see everything that's inside. Alright, so now that we've got it all unpacked, we'll go through it one by one. Uh, start with the big three. We've got backpack, Mountain Lower Designs Profit, talked about it already. Totally frameless, lined with a trash compactor bag for waterproofing so stuff doesn't get wet. I've got the Six Moons Design Gatewood Cape. Um, it's a tarp shelter that also doubles as my rain gear. It's a poncho tarp. Um, it's a shaped poncho. Comes in at 11 ounces and change uh, with the guidelines attached. Um, to go with that, uh, tent stakes in a used USPS Tyvek envelope. Uh, I want to talk about these for a minute. I've got the Rotovacora 6 inch carbon fiber tent stakes. They come in at 6 grams each. So if you're looking to cut some weight, uh, replacing tent stakes, you can get four of them for exactly one ounce. Works out pretty well. Um, and here I've got the Enlightened Equipment Enigma 20, uh, 18 or 19 ounces, something like that. In its stuff sack, I've got the Neo Air uh, X Light by Thermarest for my sleeping pad with a Six Moons Design Polycro ground cloth underneath it. Comes at one ounce. Uh, and then since it's right there, I've got the headlamp. It's just a regular energizer. Found it at Walmart for four dollars. Not too bad. Um, electronics. I've got iPhone 5 in a otter box with an. Aki's 3600 milliamp charger and wall unit chargers for both and headphones if I want music. Uh, toothpaste cut, toothbrush cut in half with travel size toothpaste. Um, I was going to use an alcohol stove but they're banned on a good portion of the trail so found the Ollie Camp Kinetic Ultra Titanium uh, 1.9 ounces. It's just over $50, something like that. Uh, not too bad, but works really well. I've got uh, two cups of water to boil in just over two and a half minutes. Um, I like to wrap it up in just a regular bandana so that it doesn't rattle around inside my pack and make annoying noises the whole time. Uh, got the Sea to Summit small spoon with cup measurements that fit into my Kmart grease pot right there so I don't have to carry a separate measuring device. Um, I will be treating all of my water with bleach right in here and then mini Bic, nothing fancy just to get the fire going. Uh, my food bag is a Outdoor Research 13 liter storage stuff sack. It's not entirely waterproof but it will be inside my pack so I'm not too concerned about it being completely waterproof. Uh, toilet paper hand sanitizer Enough said. I've got Columbia Beanie and my JC Penny Down Puffy. Not too sure how well that's going to do. Um, it's 650 hill power down. Um, I've used it a couple times. It might be warm enough. It might not. If it's not, I'll change it out. But I'm trying to keep it pretty light, and this comes in under eight ounces. So I will post a detailed gear list with weights uh, at the bottom of the video in the comments section. I've got a wind shirt, um, water resistant, it's the Stoic Wraith, comes in at 2.5 ounces, super, super effective, it traps in a lot of heat as long as the air around you isn't moving, uh, 
the wind won't be able to take your heat away. So if you don't need too much insulation, it's a really good choice. Um, and it does keep water off for a little while. It will wet out, but at first it does a really good job. Um, as far as gloves go, Mountain Hardware Bandito gloves. They're fingerless, but they also turn into mittens. Uh, you just pull the little thing out of here uh, and they convert into full mittens. I've got sleep clothes, uh, just a regular Reebok thermal shirt and pants, and then I've got uh, Nike running shorts for if I don't like pants that I'll be wearing. Um, starting off with smart wool ankle socks and then a pair of sleeping socks also made by smart wool, a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah. Next up, we've got the first aid slash repair kit. Uh, I've got a bunch of ibuprofen and one serious painkiller that I had prescribed to me for the hike in case of emergencies. Um, I've got Neosporin repackaged into straws as well as anti-itch cream repackaged into straws. I've got a book of matches in a little plastic container with my only sharp object is going to be a regular straight razor blade wrapped up in a cereal box. Uh, and rubber band together so that it doesn't poke holes in anything. I've also got the repair kit for the mattress pad. I've got some emergency and some gorilla tape and chopstick with the labels cut off to make it lighter. Uh, in the desert, I will be carrying the Eurosherm Swing Light Flex umbrella. Um, heard mixed reviews whether people think it's absolutely necessary, but I want it, so I'm going to carry it. Um, in the desert, I'll also have five liters of water carrying capacity. I've got four uh, smart water bottles with the labels removed and a little stupid ring around the top cut off too, uh, and one platypus bottle just in case four is not enough. Uh, and I will be switching out to the BB450 in the Sierras when you absolutely have to carry a bear canister. And then the last thing I want to talk about are the clothes that I'm going to be actually hiking in. I'm going to start off with the Columbia pants. They are full length, but they are zip off, so you can make them shorts if you want. Uh, in the desert, I'm going to leave them pants because I don't want to have to go through bottles and bottles of sunblock. So I'm going to try hiking in pants. I also got a long sleeve Field and Stream shirt that's supposed to be SPF 50. So again, avoiding the sunblock at all costs. Um, and then sunglasses, nothing fancy, just super cheap. Got them for free at a concert. They got thrown to me. Uh, if I need something more, I can pick them up along the way. But that's what I'll be starting off with. And then for shoes, I've got the Brooks Cascadia 10s. Uh, don't have a lot of experience with them, um, but tried them on, walked about three miles in them so far, and like them so far. Uh, they might fall apart, they might work out, but they seem to have nice tread, so we'll see. All right, see you on the trail.